Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Nobelia.org. That is the website you have to go to, and you're going to learn more today about Morness and all the work that our friend Sil Sebastian is doing, uh, along with being a Sid. And again, this is a world where culture, community revolves around nobleness, being noble, actually being so not the hereditary yeah. way, right? And uh, yes. you say here that this is Thank where you. such nobility of being is based on deeply solid character foundations built from living and applying way of impeccability and the Mornis Project tools for deliberate living. That's right. Uh, the or- inordinate made manifest, as you say. So yes. welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys? Oh, wonderful. wonderful. Absolutely Most wonderful. Most excellent. Absolutely Your video wonderful. is off, sir. Oh, oh, I accidentally... Uh, <laughs> it I happens. Was- yeah. Well, the reason it happened is because of this. Ooh, what's wow. this? You can see. <laughs> uh, that's, uh-huh. that's the, that's, you said the inordinate made manifest. Well, right there it is. But you see, when I was holding it, I was yes. trying to balance it. And the corner touched the space bar, which toggles <laughs> the camera. Wow. Well, on Zoom. The space bar toggles whatever control you last were toggling, right? And I happen to be putting the video on. Anyway, so here we go with an inordinate made manifest. And actually, uh, you know, you can't see the cover that well. So what I'm going to do is do a screen share. And I I have it pre-set up here. The the front cover, all very big. Oh, and here it goes. There you see it now, right? Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Because on the book, you see, this is a proof, a test cover, a, a, a proof copy. So they put this on the book, not for resale proof copy. Uh, because it's advanced, right? And it's only going to be launched on December the 3rd. So it's in pre-order right now. You can go to Amazon. And if you just search for Ask Biala, it will come up and you'll be able to pre-order it. If you want to get in ahead, you know, it's on special pre-order and all that. People who pre-order, they know, but, you know, this, you get in ahead of time. So it's pretty fun. And then, Congratulations. But, yes, I'm yes, I'm, I'm very happy. And for those of you on the podcast, tell us the title of the book and where we can find it. Yes, it's called Ask Biella, Questions Answered, Book One. And life lessons, advice, and alternative solutions to self-help issues. Uh, book three exactly. of the Realism series. Sil Sebastian is our author, you our go. coach, and so much more. How do we there contact you, you guys, and where can we get the book? Nobelia.org and just on Amazon. Right? Uh, it, it will be available on all the other platforms, but right now it's on pre-order on Amazon. So if you just put in Sil Sebastian and Sebastian, S-A-B-A, right? Uh, a little different spelling. It's got all A's for... Uh, um, appropriateness, yeah, attunement, and awareness. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, 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 I changed my, my name to S- Sebastian when I was a, was a teenager. No, I, just, I just did it. I don't know. It just something that grabbed me. I have no idea really why. But, you know, I, when I went to apply for my driver's license, I wrote it that way. And it stayed. And it just stuck. So it's not. And now when you look at it's on my birth certificate, on my passport, everything. Yeah. <laughs> just you know, bureaucracy. They just assumed somebody had misspelled it. And it just automatically stayed in the system and it got updated. So is that something? That because is- my wow. my my parents had spelt it S E B A S T I O N. Yeah. Sebastian? Very different spelling. <laughs> Sebastian, yes. yeah, in a very English way. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so I just changed it and it worked and it stuck. But and now anyway. it has some significance because you know uh, it's it uh, that those A's, the A plus philosophy. This is a very big deal that underlies everything and appropriateness, attunement, and awareness. Remember in the in the in the yep. mind map, they were right uh-huh. up there. That's what it's all about. You see, and then you know application, application, application. It's all about application. Three A's again, see? So very important, very important. And uh, and, and Osil is really a nickname that's just stuck. Uh, and I like that because people say, how do you spell that? Oh, well, you know, it's so like in the first syllable of syllable. And that makes me happy too. <laughs> now, we, we're talking about uh, mourners, right? And you said the inordinate made manifest. Bina, will you, yes. will you share about Biela? Tell us a bit about Biela. 
Okay, because uh, I, when I was looking at it first, I just want to say that okay, this is a beautiful book, a beautiful cover, really, mm -hmm. and really captivating because you cannot ignore Biala in this. I assume it's yeah. Biala, and, and you well, cannot ignore that. Ah, uh, it that's a good question. It's a Biala. Mm -hmm. There okay. is no one Biala. Yeah, Biala is Bina. Biala is Jill, right? Biala is obviously some of me too. But Biala yes. is, uh, uh, well, I'll come to that in a little bit. But uh, this, the image is a potential Biala, right? There's no hard and fast yes. image. And I'm going to share about yeah. that in a moment. I've got more to reveal because what are we all about? Mourners, mourners, right? Yes. Mourners culture, yes. that's what we're sharing, mourners. But I'll share some mourners, right, Vina? You know what mourners <laughs> I'm going to share. You know what yes, mourners yes. I'm going to share. But before that, oh, yes. I, I want to get yes. Bina's perspective on Biala, right? Because mm -hmm. Biala here is, uh, she is answering questions, right? It's questions answered. This started as an advice column that, that I did in the Gateway Gazette. And the advice column was called Ask Biala, right? And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I'm answering as Biala, which actually yes. takes a lot of doing. But Biela is a character from my book series, the, the, a fictional book series, right? Which is a big deal. And it, I, I haven't published it yet. I'm saving it. It's written, but I'm saving it. I want a lot of other books to publish first, probably about 20 of them, right? That, that are there. They're ready to go. It's just a matter of doing it now. Anyway, and, and so with Biela, she is part of Nobilia, the world. And like Jill said, that culture of nobility. But you know Biala because Biala comes up in so much in what we do and what we share, yes. right, Bina? So share yes. a bit about your your understanding, your perception of Biala. This is a big question because uh, oh, Biala yes. is something. Oh yes, because uh, when uh, throughout my journey, I was thinking and of course listening from you that what who Biala is. Biala is something when we talk about it is exactly as difficult to explain as <laughs> we have the idea of perfection. Okay. Because, oh my God, like, okay, how to define perfection? But it still has a very different, very uh, unusual and a very beautiful definition of perfection. And uh, it applies completely to Biala for me. Biala actually a character who shows us by living like the ideal life, that Nobilia living. She really lives that. And then she gives you the, uh, the perspective, which is beyond our expectations and our assumptions. Her perspectives always come like, okay, yes, this is obvious. I'm looking at it. Okay, this is the perspective. This is, But she comes and gives you a different perspective, which seems very impossible, almost impossible <laughs> to all of us. Yay! Yes. She gives us that perspective. And yeah. I was like, oh, my God, who can think like that? And she yeah. gives you, and when you start reading those questions, because I have this privilege, I have uh, read that. So you start thinking that, where I was, what I was thinking, why I would not be able to, to actually think like this. If this is something a person can think, of course, Biala is a creation, is a character, Syl has developed. So for me, as a Patrick person, I just said, okay, so if Syl can think, why I was not able to do that? Mm, and if wow. he can think, which means that it is possible. Yeah. This exactly. idea that giving you a possibility of those perspectives, which seems very impossible to all of us because people say, oh, Nobilia, who can be noble? Oh, it is too idealistic. It yeah. is too bookish. Actually not. Because yeah. the way she answered, you start thinking like, oh my God, this is very much possible. This is so relevant, so pertinent. And I can do this. When yeah. you say that for once, I can do this then you can do it all the time. And yeah, this is yeah, so yeah. brilliant for me, Biala. Again, I will, I'm not able to give you the exact definition of Biala, but Biala is someone who is giving me more than my imagination, more than my understanding, more than my assumptions. Yes. She oh, that's wonderful. Yes. That, that, that is most wonderful. I mean, there is, there is an introduction to Biala. I think there's a, 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 a right, that's about Biala. Yes. And, uh, you know, Biela is an ideal, it's an amalgam, but Biela is a practically attainable ideal. This is very important. Yes. This is very important to me, that Biela is a plausible mourner's character. Yes. Somebody who spent their life working on this and being this, and it's plausible, it's real, because everything that Biela is, I'm pulling from what I know. 
and, and my experience and my understanding. Now, yes, is it an amalgam? Yes, absolutely. It's an alter ego also. But still, the, the, it, it's real. Biala is very, very real to us. You know, and when we speak about Biala, Biala is a character in our lives, right, Bina? It's like somebody exactly. we know. Who, we must be talking about Joel yes. or somebody, right? Same way. Yes. It's very powerful, oh, yeah. very powerful. Uh, I want to I want to share a real quick here. I'll go back to the screen share. I know I'm going to read it for the people that are only on the on the audio. Uh, but what I want to share is just the questions, right? Sure. Um, can you read, uh, Joel? And you read it for us. It is, it is coming. Just a few of them there. Just okay. Just skip through. It'll if come you can on see. Through. Okay, there we go. Contents. Yeah. Are you going to can read? You see? Jill, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jill, will you re will you read a few of the of the questions? Just just sure. pick a couple there at random about Biella. Well, how to get the most value out of the book, right? Um. So yes. you know. Uh, obviously, you want smart friends, right? How can I find peace and happiness? And uh, I know there's, um, well, as far as the book is concerned, this is something you've been working on for quite some time, and it's part of the series, right? Did yes. you have to ask? Yes. All right, all right. Yes. Just making sure everyone's aware. <laughs> did yes. you have to continue down the list, or did you have certain questions that you wanted? Uh, that's to it. Uh, I just wanted because oh, you okay. see, I'm I had like, a wait, reaction. I'm like, I'm like I didn't get. I'm like I didn't get notes. No, 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 <laughs> no. It's fantastic. See, I just wanted you so to sweet. share because, because, because. Look what Jill said, Bina. Look what Jill yes. said, and how it ties into what you said. Jill said, "Well, obviously, we want smart friends." Exactly. Yeah. Wait now, Jill. Now we're gonna have to go to that chapter and see what Biala says. Oh, this is the other thing that I wanted to share about the book. Okay. But it's going to be given away. Sure. Right? Yes. Well, it's it's quite difficult to do in reverse. I've got to tell you, and with the light shining, but all right, uh, <laughs> I was trying to flip through it to show you that the book actually contains illustrations, paintings, right? So it's very unusual. It's very unusual in in a, in 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 printed books to have color mm -hmm. pictures. Yeah, right? it's it's most unusual. All right, so that's that's actually the start, chapter one. I want smart friends. So let's go there. Let's go there. Well, you'll see and, it. You'll see and it. And the art is easy. also by you, Correct. I, I, I created it all. You know, using the computer and mm -hmm. all the modern tools for it is not, not hand painted. But I got to tell you, people say, oh, yeah, well, that's not real. Ha. Huh. If you don't think this is art and takes effort, then I got another wow. news for you. To make these paintings, it was almost more work. Actually, I, I think in the actual time spent, I spent more time on making this art, these paintings, than I did actually writing. Because wow. I can write pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Because this was Clearly. the skill here. <laughs> yes. Now, you would think typical painting, you know, like if I were to paint on canvas or whatever, paper, that, that's a skill of, of hand and eye coordination, right? And, of course, imagination and creativity. But I don't have that dexterity to do that. The, the, when it comes to the uh, digital art, the skill is patience, deliberation, persistence. Yeah, just doing it over and over and over again till I find the right thing. I mean, wow. I've got ones that I'm not using, uh, that I saved even hundreds, and what I didn't choose, thousands that didn't make the cut, right? So to yeah. get exactly what you want, uh, it took a lot of time and effort and patience. So it was a huge amount of work. All right, so I want to read a little bit about this with I want smart friends. What's a good way to do that? Because when Jill said the same thing, right? But what did Bina yes. say? Uh, what did Bina say about, uh, about Biela's answers? Bina oh, said... They, they provide you, yes, more than expectations, more than assumptions. More yes. than more. expectations. I got the more. Yes. Right. And the expectations though, right? See, so Jill yes. said, well, obviously we want smart friends. Now let's hear what yes. Biela has to say with us. Dear potential friend, I hear you. Look, right there, she starts off. She's addressing this question, right? And she says, dear potential friend. friend. I think this is just great that Biala has that openness. Wow. Even, though, uh -huh. even, though, even though you're going to see Biala has a very interesting take on this question. Yeah. I hear you. 
but I feel your search place is misplaced. Ooh. I feel your search focus is misplaced yes, on misplaced. smartness. Smartness in inverted commas. In actuality, it matters little. I have had fantastic conversations and interactions, months and weeks long or more, with individuals who might not be regarded as smart, certainly not by themselves. Yeah. Yet these interactions were phenomenal, sustaining, fulfilling, enlivening, profound. Mm -hmm. Why? Many factors, none related to smart. Yes. A willingness to engage, this is primary. A mm -hmm. willingness to explore, to learn, to discover. A desire to figure it out. Whatever it happens to be, a lack of fixedness. A freedom to pursue the topic wherever it leads, yeah. even though often there might be very definite goals and desires. An intention to resolve, capital R, yep. resolve. resolve. An openness to find solution, capital S, solution. Wherever solution is, however it is, these are imperative. And, and I, will, I will just end it there. Right, uh, And we're going to see, I mean, you can just go with a, with a topic heading here, the next uh, little section, it's called Honesty and Integrity, New Truths, Good Character, and in the end, uh, uh, Earnest Goodness, right? uh, I, won't, I won't skip to the end, you can read it, but you're starting to get an idea that Biala is being very, very diplomatic here and gentle and kind to say, Jill, sorry, your, your attention on smartness, not so good. We've got other things to focus on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but see, but, but, but Jill, your, your reaction was brilliant. It was so perfect because we tend to assume that, yes, smartness is a good thing to have in our friends. Mm -hmm. but, but when you think about it, and this is Biala's magic, because yeah. Biala has the skill and ability to think extra and mm -hmm. to come at angles that we don't. Uh, but when she says it, it's like, well, now that you mention it, Biala, yeah, duh. Yeah. Uh, you know, that willingness to explore, that honesty, that integrity, that, that's much more important. Yes? Sure is. So, I agree. You know, I, I, I have a great many friends. And uh, Bina, do you know any of my friends? Any? Not well, I stress any that regard themselves yeah. as smart? Oh. No. Where did Bina go? She's there. No. She said no. 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 Oh, fine. fine. Exactly. Exactly. And no. I said any, which obviously includes Bina. Yeah. Yes, myself. Right. Isn't that Aww. something? Isn't that something? I mean, Bina is, is smart, is... but it's not the focus. <laughs> the moment you start thinking of yourself as smart, I, I don't really want to be your friend so much. Totally. Exactly. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Isn't I, I, that amazing? Yeah, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> yeah. You know, a joyfulness yeah. uh, and an eagerness to learn. A uh, 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 joy de vivre, right? The will, uh, just mm -hmm. the joy of life. This is important. Honesty and integrity. Who wants a BSer for a friend? Yeah. We don't. Sorry, BSers know this. You can have a hard time making friends, right? Yes. And, yeah. and, and, and you know, the sad part of BSers think they think that the more they BS, the more they're going to be liked. Yeah, and, and they live in this incredible bubble that nobody knows I'm BSing. Everybody knows they're missing. They just don't want to say it because they don't want to avoid the awkwardness. Horrible. And they know if they're going to pop your bubble, it's like, and if they mention it, then you're going to be all denying and then you're going to go into a whole bullshit spin about how much you're not BSing. So you know, people just avoid that, right? So just be real, man. Be real. You know, I, I have just wonderful friends that, I, and some of them, they Aww. like, they, they'll, they'll, uh, listen to what we share and we talk on the lives and everything. And yes, we get very involved. We go very deep and say, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> they, they will tell us, right? I got no clue. It's I don't so get funny. it. I don't get... Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Because it doesn't matter. We all learn in different ways. And every now and then it's like something will, will, ah, yeah, okay. Oh, I love this. Yeah. That's okay. It doesn't like, matter. Mm. You know, it's not about being smart. It's about what your passion is. You know, uh, uh, like for instance, I got artist friends. Holy moly, you know, they get into all the art stuff. And the I haven't a clue what they're talking about. Does it matter? No, I enjoy yeah. the art. So you don't have to have the same passions. And smartness is really a matter of focus and attention and immersion. Right? It's an ability that comes from your immersion in what you're doing. We're all smart about something. Yes. And uh, many people just apply their smartness in very different ways. But you say, I don't have to know all this technical detail stuff. What's important is I'm happy. Yeah. What are you doing all that stuff for? All your 
does it make you happy? Uh, well, when you look at typically smart people, they're usually not all that happy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to really understand <laughs> this. But I, I yes. wanted to share this about <laughs> Biela, right, Bina? Wasn't that what you were yes. saying? Biela brings yeah. you ideas that you, you didn't exactly. think about, but they, they're not complicated. They're like, duh, right? Yes, yes. But just want to add something because uh, the simple question that, okay, I want to smart people uh, or smart friends in my life. Actually, this question has so much more for me because this is the basic uh, and real true understanding for any relationship. This is exactly. how we get into the trap of nonsense exactly. relationship in our life. Exactly. And we start attracting people because yeah. We, yeah. we don't have a clarity that what we really want. And then we, of course, in relationship and spouse, like and friends, not limited to friends only, but of course, right. for the spouse. Right. Right. But okay, right. we get into this mindset because we want people who are smart, who can deal with things, who can solve mm -hmm. the problems day in life and all that. But actually, yeah. this doesn't matter. If a person doesn't have a desire to cooperate and collaborate, then you cannot exactly. actually get anything out of their smartness. Okay, exactly. they will keep their smartness with the tech. So that's, this is the basic. So that's why yes. I was saying that Biala okay, is providing us solutions much deeper. The question is very simple. I want smart friends. Okay, of course, also I want it. Uh, but I do have <laughs> many. Yeah. Smart, yeah. All my friends are much yeah. smarter than me. But actually, this yeah. this answer is, applies to everything, every aspect of your life. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Oh, uh, exactly. It's a massively mourner's thing. So let me ask Jill. Jill is going to be our guinea pig today. Yay! I love it. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, it's delicate now. I, I want to ask, assuming uh, uh, that you've had more than one relationship. I mean, I know you have children, so that's yes. at least one. So, okay, you know, uh, more than one. I mean, uh, again, I have to be careful. Say, well, some people only have had one. Right? Anyway, so uh, in, in the relationships that, that didn't last, right? Now think of those and see if these apply. Uh, these qualities, uh, think back and see if they applied from in the, in the other person. Or maybe at yourself at the time too. A willingness to engage. Was mm -hmm. that there? Was that in your partner at the ones that didn't work? Engagement? A willingness to engage. Did they have a oh, willingness to engage? Oh, I thought you meant engage? like engagement, like engagement ring. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Like a willingness to, to engage, to be some, engaging. Yes. Some, yes. not all. Right. Okay. Both. In addition... A willingness to explore, a willingness to learn, a willingness yeah. to, to discover, a desire to figure it out, whatever it happens to be, a lack of fixedness. Did, did, did some of those early relationships, did the other person have a bit too much fixedness or yourself even maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what about, was there a freedom to pursue the topic wherever it leads? Was that present? Wow, not in all of them, no. But I'm looking at a lot exactly. of bad relationships. So, okay. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right. I mean, I, I don't no. want to put you on the spot here, but, you know, you're answering no, okay. for all of us. You, I, you're yeah. answering for all of us, right? And, and that, that willingness to pursue a topic wherever it leads, this is a massive issue in relationships, massive. Because if you look at where they break down, uh, somebody's not willing to go where the topic goes, right? And this, it comes up later probably, it's the willingness to face and deal with the awful yeah. truth. This is a huge part of, of way of impeccability and nobilia living. Because when you actually do face and deal with the awful truth, something magical happens. Right, Vina? Yes. What happens to yes. that, that awful us. truth? That awful it truth turns into the awesome truth. Exactly. <laughs> it becomes an awful truth. Oh, well, yeah. It's the most incredible thing. It's the most incredible thing. When you really face what your worst fears are, mm -hmm. suddenly it changes and it becomes so powerful, so potent, so empowering. But in a relationship, if you don't want to go there, your relationship's going to get stuck because this is an issue that's obviously bothering your partner and they want to pursue it. And if you're unwilling to do this, you got a breakdown and then you got a problem, right? And if you can't overcome it, end of your relationship. Very simple thing, very simple thing, right? And, and uh, I'm, I'm going this, right? A freedom to pursue, even though often there might be very definite goals yeah. and desires. You got to go past that. Mm -hmm. And what about an intention to resolve, right? That's very key. Not just an intention to resolve, but an intent to resolution. This mm -hmm. is very important because a lot of times, well, we've got stuff to sort out. Of but 
but you don't have to, they don't yes. want to resolve it because they're so afraid of where it may lead, right? And they're scared. So you can't. You gotta say, no, we need resolution. If you don't get resolution, you don't solve things, and then your relation breaks down. So that what uh, uh, Biela starts off with, she's saying what Biela's pointing out, she's opening the groundwork for relationships in Ooh. general, not just smart friends. It's incredible. Yeah. Right? You're getting a bonus. You're getting a blueprint on what to look for in relationships. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Well, okay. perfect way to end oh. it. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Congrats on this thank book. You. Amazing. Remind us again how thank we can you. contact you, pick thank up you. the book, and talk more about uh, Asking Biela. Yes. Yeah, so you can either find Ask Biela on Amazon by searching for Sil Sebastian or searching for Ask Biela. And the, it's fairly unique, the name. So, you know, it's not like you're going to get 101 results. It should pop up right on the top. And it's on pre order yes. right now. You can pre order it and get the, all the advantages and benefits of pre order. And, and, you know, that helps me also, by the way, if you pre order. So uh, by the way, I want to make a quick point yeah. here. Yeah. When buying books on Amazon, don't think of the price in terms of a commodity. Think oh. of it as helping the writer, the author. Okay. Very different okay. logic. I like I, I'm buying the book for 99 cents. Yeah. Or I'm paying $10 for a book or $20. Hey, I'm really helping an author. It's incredible. When you think of it that way, you're happy to spend that 10 or $20 on the book because, man, I'm doing something for somebody. It really makes a difference, right? So support Aww. your authors. They do Perfect. a lot. They do a lot. Thank you so much. Yes. Pleasure to have you, thank both you so of you. Much. Thank you. And uh, see you next week. Amazing show. Thank you so much. Got to get a read on that, too. And thank, thank you. you. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network.